Hello and welcome to Ardsley Astro. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the SV705C from Spony. Now the intended purpose of the SV705C is a planetary camera. But how does it perform on deep sky objects? The sensor in the SV705C is the IMX585. It's 8.3 megapixel giving a max resolution of 3856 by 2180 pixels. But the pixel size is relatively small at only 2.9 microns. This gives a relatively small sensor at only 11.2 mm by 6.3 mm. Now, the size of the sensor will determine the field of view we will get in the final image. So let's take a look in field of view calculator and see what that gives us when compared to some cool DSO cameras also from Spony. These are based on my Skywatcher 130P Newtonian with a focal length of 650mm. In yellow is the SV405CC. This is an 11.7 megapixel camera with 4.63 micron pixels using the IMX-9 for sensor. In green we have the SV605CC. This is a 9 megapixel sensor with 3.76 micron pixels using the IMX-533 sensor. And in red is the SV705C. It gives an image just as wide as the SV605CC but in a 16 to 9 format. We can see it perfectly frames the Dumbbell Nebula. Here we have the Globular Cluster M13. This is M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy. And here is M63, the Sunflower Galaxy. So this should work quite well for many deep sky objects. The SV705C has a good well depth, very low readout noise, and it's very sensitive with quantum efficiency of around 90%. Anyway, enough about the specs, let's see what it can actually do. First of all here we have M13, the great globular cluster in Hercules. This was 30 sub-exposures at 30 seconds using my EQAL55 I mount and the Skywatcher 130P Newtonian. But here is my best image to date, here is M27 the Dumbbell Nebula. This was 74 sub-exposures at 1 minutes each. Both images were stacked in Deep Sky Stacker, background and noise removal in Graxbert, and final processing completed in Surreal. As you can see the SV705C is an excellent camera for taking Deep Sky images. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe.